Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel and welcome again to new episode on how to. Today is going to be a little bit different. Uh, we are uh, going to install Docker and a GUI for Docker. For the GUI I have chosen Portainer. Uh, it's very simple to use and install. This is a more or less a quite a personal project that uh, you know uh, that I personally use for this server when we run when I run for example tutorials and I also have other people run one-to-one -one training with companies so I do help and create uh, environment you know that they can use and show to the people who come for the training so uh, for this instance I'm going to create uh, an Ubuntu copy of VM using Proxmox I'm going to install Docker and in this second video, I'm going to show you how, how I personally install a very easily a Portainer for a easy management of a Docker. So without any delay, let's go to Proxmox and I'm going to create a VM with Ubuntu. I'm going to call it Docker. The resource pool is going to be the main. I'm going to start at, at boot and I'm going to next. It's going to be quite easy, you know. Um, I got a very minimal uh, Ubuntu installation ISO here. I'm going to get, say, no graphic card, of course. I don't need that. I'm going to give uh, 50 gig for this instance. So we got some scalability just in case if more than one person wants to use it. Uh, I'm going to leave the rest as it is. Go next CPU. I'm going to go two cores and two sockets. The rest is okay. We go for the 4096, for example, there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. It's, that's fine. Network device as usual. Power of virtualize. I'm going to co uh, confirm. And I'm going to click go there. And where are we? There we go. We got the VM here. That's the 105. Uh, let me see if I can. Uh, sorry, I'll do it another time. Uh, okay, no, anyway, just once that's been done, I'm going straight to the console. And I'm going to fire up. Now, I don't know if he's been... Uh, yeah, I haven't started yet, so I'm going to start it. And I'm going to do install. See if I can... Uh, there we go. Go to English. Oh. English, United Kingdom. Uh, let's see, yes. So yes, continue. I know there is a, a simple way to do that, but uh, here we go. I'm going to call it Docker. You know, the kingdom. I'm going to leave it blank. Continue. So while it's installing, I'm going to pause for a second and I'm going to resume as soon as it's finished. So I'm going to use the guided, uh, I'm going to use the entire disk. I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to wait until the partition is finished and the, the rest of the installation has been completed. So Ubuntu has been installed and uh, the server has restarted. So we're going to log in.
Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to update, just in case there is anything to update, I'm going to use the sudo command. And also I'm going to run a upgrade, even though the, everything is up to date. You never know. Here we go. So let's start and install Docker. If you have a, a old version, or just in case you already had the Docker, you can uninstall the old version by running this command. For this installation, we don't need to. So we already done sudo apt get update. Even though I've done apt is exactly the same thing. Well, it's not, but you won't find any kind of uh, updates here. You will uh, just update the uh, repository. And let's start to install Docker. So I'm going to paste here. Did I copy? It looks like I haven't copied it. Let's uh, get it bigger. So why am I not capable to... Usually I can do that. I don't want to type everything myself. Alright, I'll tell you what, I'm going to change this one here. I want to do if config. sudo apt install net tools and we go two one uh two three eight Let's open that one. One nine two one six eight one two three eight. I say yes. Much easier to run uh, from this one here, to be honest. So let's go again, man. Go, let's make this bigger. I thought I could make um, bu -bu -bu maximize. No, I don't remember to make the size anyway. Without any delay, let's start to do this. I don't want to go any strong. There we go, we're going to install docker. Usually docker doesn't really take that much of the time to install. After installation, I'm going to run the curl command to add the certificate, gpg. Make it up. Ready? Now we're going to run the curl session, and that's fine. On the update. The update has been done. That's that. Now. 
and then I'm going to run L world to make sure that is working. After that, the Docker is installed, and the next video I'm going to show you how to install a container to make it easy for uh, creating and deleting and managing the each container or, on Docker. Somehow I don't understand the reason. I'm only downloading at about 200, 300 kilobytes per second, even though the the connection here is well over 100 megabit per second. So it's taking a lot of time. So the installation log has been completed. I'm going to run the Hello World to ensure that it's working all right. And it looks everything's working perfectly well because it didn't find it. He actually created, and there we go, we got the hello from Docker. That means the installation of uh, Docker is successful. Anyway, guys, thanks again for uh, this uh, how-to and how I install Docker on my Proxmox server. And I'll see you for the next video where I'm going to show you as well how I'm going to install a copy of a portainer. Thanks again, and I'll see you next video.